Hi, I'm Emmanuel King, and today we're going to be color grading. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to my first YouTube video. I'm Emmanuel King, a filmmaker and director based in Nigeria, and we're going to be looking at um, an image today. So let's get right in. This is the image we're going to be working on and hopefully we're going to go from this to this. This tutorial is an advanced color grading class so if you don't have any knowledge on Adobe Lightroom I recommend you watch some videos. I've already linked some videos in my description which can put you through all the controls and functions in Lightroom. But as for this video, this video is going to only cover those who have at least a basic understanding of Lightroom. But I'll still do my best to explain where I can. So let's go. First thing I'm going to do for this image is I'm going to set the exposure. Like I said, it's underexposed. You can see the histogram is slooping a bit to the left. So I'm going to pump up the exposure a bit. Let's see, somewhere around there should do. Set my white balance. Just warm it up a bit so it's about the right white balance that seems about right everything goes yeah that's, that looks fine so i'll recover most of those highlights that we underexposed for so there they are and i'm also going to open up the shadows just a bit and um, compensate by crushing back the blacks now you can see if i push the blacks too far you can see that it starts to clip you can see this blue here and if you want to get info about if your image is clipping like that if you're losing detail in the blacks or if you're losing details in the white all you have to do is hit j so anytime you hit j it calls up the clipping function so it, it, it kind of shows you whether your image is clipping or if i push the highlights you see it's clipping it's showing the red so when I turn it off, it's not clipping anymore. Uh, I'm going to set my blacks right now. Yeah, that seems pretty fine. So let's move on to the tone curves. So we have the RGB tone curve. This is our for this. We're going to be just adding a bit of contrast. So let's see. I just add a hair in the highlight there. Just somewhere there seems fine. Maybe cross the shadows a bit. And then I'm going to add some mid-tone contrast by increasing my mid-tones just a bit. That looks about right. Yeah, that looks about right. So we're going to move. Now um, we've gotten a pretty well-balanced image. Remember, this is, this is where we came from. This is where we are now. Next thing I'm going to go to my curves i would like to start with my blue curve and remember the feel we're going for is this kind of warm feel we're going for this warm sun sunny like golden hour mood so i want to kind of exaggerate the effect of golden hour here that's the goal of this color grade the tone curve is made up of two sides on the blue tone curve we have the yellow when you pull it down and when you push it up you have blues so i'm going to add some yellows but that adds to every part of my image so I want to take it off, maybe this is a bit too much. I want to take it off my shadows. On this area, we have the whites. We have the highlights. We have the mid-tones. We have the shadows and the blacks. So to my highlights, mostly I'm going to be adding the warmth. But I would like that to also fall into my mid-tones and I'll take it away from the shadow so that that balances out the image a bit. So yeah, take a bit from the shadow. Maybe even add it to the blacks. So, yeah. There we go. So, maybe a bit too much. Just keep that a bit neutral. I'll go into my red tone curve. And I want to add a bit of cyan to balance out some of the yellows. So, let's see. Put some cyan in the highlights. Um... I would also like to keep my mid-tones with the red. I don't want them to stray past the red. So I'll keep the point here. Pull this down just the hair. Maybe, yeah, that's fine. And maybe a little more cyan in the shadows. So yeah, that's looking 
a bit red so I'll, let me bring this down a bit and bring this down a bit on my green curve i'm going to add oh, sorry on my green curve i'm going to add some green to the highlights just a bit and a bit of magenta just a bit so you don't do so much so that seems about fine so the next panel i'm going to go to which is really key to this entire grade is the camera calibration now the camera calibration is not entirely intended for color grading it's used to correct cameras but we can bend it to our will and use it for color grading we have the red primaries the green primary and the blue primary now i'm going to move my blue primary first and a lot of people already know that this is popular for having like a teal and orange effect but there are certain colors that i want to capture in, in the range so move that blue primaries balance it out with the red so that we don't have because once you're pushing the, the blue primaries to teal you're also pushing the red i would have loved to explain the science behind that but that would be another video i would love to see more of the blues pop so i'd like to add some more saturation but mind you that's going to increase the saturation of the reds as well so now yeah the blues are starting to pop but now the image is generally saturated i'm going to take down a lot of that red because it's so much okay so we, we kind of got it balanced so you're, you're now starting to see that warm golden hour feel that i was talking about maybe i also balance out with my green primaries somewhere there that washes out the red a bit so yeah there we go we're almost quite done but i would like to bring a lot of my reds back but if i did that in the camera calibration most of the colors are tied together so to be a mess so what i'm going to do i want to pop my reds a lot more back so i've pushed my red hue to the left brought my red back um for the yellows because right now i've pushed all the greens now to yellow so i want some of that green color kind of back yeah there we go yeah that seems nice the orange orange seems a bit red so i want to keep that my skin tones in check so i'm gonna move my orange hue to the right and um i would like to darken these grasses here so to do that my best bet would be the luminance of the yellow so yeah that seems much more like it um here is okay so i'd also like to push the bull i would love it to be very teal so let's push the bull not too far and i like the clues at, at the back also to be teal so we have that kind of balance palette going on so far we're looking good just to be safe i like to desaturate his skin because i don't want the skin tones looking awkward so this is orange that's where most of the skin tones are so i'm going to bring this down a bit so yeah you can already see we're getting that warm vibe like compared to what we were before so i'm going to use um a radial filter so what this essentially does i would click on show mask overlay so what this essentially does is i can make adjustments around him and the adjustments wouldn't affect him but if i want to invert it such that it affects him and not around i'll just click on invert but right now i want the effects to be around him and not on him so what i want to do i want to raise the general warmth of the image without touching him because of his skin tones because everything will be unbalanced and overly warm i'm going to increase the warmth here and mind you by increasing the warmth you are also going to be raising saturation of some specific colors so as we're increasing the warmth i believe we should also desaturate it a bit just for balance and i believe his surrounding is still as bright as him so our eyes are not quite led to him so let's yeah bring down the highlight and bring down the whites a bit not too much so yeah we got a pretty much balanced image i don't want to desaturate this too far in fact i even think the yellows are too desaturated i want it to pop a bit so let's bring up the saturation of the yellows so we we have the saturation of the yellows popped but we I also want to pop the red yeah that seems right maybe bring this a little bit further yeah there we go i still want to direct some attention to him so let's go back to the radial filter i want to also like 
soften the background up a bit i would take down the clarity a whole lot so you see the background is much softer than he is but i also want him to still pop so let's go back and increase like the general clarity so there's a bit of contrast and it's not just too soft but all these are just personal preference because we're already done with the basic idea of the color grade so yeah that's it for this video i believe um this is where we were the point we've reached if you think I was going too fast at any point, be sure to rewind or pause. Thanks a lot for joining me on this color grading video. If you like me to keep putting out more content, you can talk about it in the comment section below. This is my first video on color grading. I just hope this helps in any way. I'll be putting out more videos in the future. So we're going to be having much more fun on this channel. Hopefully over time, we're going to be reviewing some less advanced techniques. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video as much as I did. If you really liked it, please hit the like button. If you thought it sucked, you hit the dislike. Or please I prefer if you hit the like. <laughs> Can't wait to see all your smiling faces on the next video.